Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the player ratings. Chelsea 1, Everton 1. Fantastic battling performance by the Toffees at Stamford Bridge to earn us a point with a team that was quite laughable, quite literally, um, at, <laughs> at the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic point against the European champions to get us to 19 points um, and with a little bit of time now as well ahead of our next game against Burnley which will be another massive game um, but at the other, for the opposite reason other end of the table um, yeah it's going to be it's going to be interesting let's get into it let's get into it um, John Pickford John Pickford was superb today really calm Really composed with the ball at his feet, made all the right decisions. Um, time wasting wise, made all the right decisions. Um, you know he's really he's really come on in the last year to the point where um, he is the calming influence at the at at the back for us, which is mad because I never never really felt like that was going to be. That was going to be him. Um, and tonight he was superb. You know, he made some like big wonder saves, but the one, the one from Mason Mount in the first half was um, was huge. Mason Mount had got through, and you'd expect just to see the the um, the net ripple, and he stuck out a foot and he saved it and got it away, and that. That got us to half time. We all felt a little bit better because at that point you think, "Oh, can see the goal now." We might might concede a few, but and then in the second half, he made you know made a couple of really important saves. One and then one. I think it was at one one. They got a corner. It's going in the corner from um, Thiago Silva, and he makes a really big save. And I just thought he was really calm tonight, and that was the most important thing. Little things like the ball going through to him. Um, and just making sure the defenders know, knew it was his ball. Just like little things like that to calm everyone down, to just make sure he he, he made sure they knew he was in charge. When you've got a young back four or a different back four, I think that's really important to say, I'm in charge. I'm the most important person here. I dictate what we do. You know, set pieces, we looked a lot better, and that, I think that might have come maybe from... You know him, and I think that's really uh, you, you know a def a, a, def a goalkeeper who bosses his defenders is is a really important thing. And don't get me wrong, he's always done it. You know, I was at the game almost a year ago when we beat just over a year ago when we beat Chelsea at uh, Goodison. Uh, you know, two thousand and at Goodison, and he was so because it was so quiet, you could hear everything he said, and you could hear how mu how vocal he was and how much he spoke to people. And I thought he was brilliant today, and that calmed assurances. You know, when you talk about you know England number one and all this, not just about the good saves. He's always had good saves in his locker, but he was erratic. Where, where is tonight? Um, and tonight, you know, and over the last year, you know, he's he's been he's been fan, fantastic in two thousand and twenty one. Let's get it right. And tonight he was he carried that on, and um, I'm I'm. It reminded me of a slight. It reminded me of the performance against Leeds last season, where although we come under the cosh maybe more, and the goalie had to make more saves, I just thought he was brilliant tonight, and he's getting he's getting a, a ten off me for that performance because it was so huge, um, and everyone just feels a little bit happier tonight, don't they? And after a result like that, so it came from the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper done that, and as I said, it wasn't just the saves; he didn't just make big saves. He was commanding, um, and I think he was like the captain tonight as well. I know Michael Keane was the captain, but I felt like Pickford was the real captain tonight. So a, a 10, a 10 for me. Uh, John Joe Kenny um, started a little bit slow, but once he got into the game, just attitude was absolutely spot on. No mistakes, nothing stupid. Did his job. Um, 
you know, he just defended. He never really got forward. He just did his job tonight. It was very uncomplicated for him. Just defend. And I thought he did. Um, I thought he did pretty well. For a kid who hasn't barely played this season and has come in, I thought... And listen, his job was made quite simple for him. Just defend. Stay in position and defend. And I thought he did it really well. I've given 6.5. Um, and I thought he did it. No no complications, just did his job. Um, there was a couple of little moments in the first half, but I just thought, and that towards the end, it was just a case of digging in, and I think he done that. And it was, again, it was no pa- You know what most of our players didn't do tonight? They didn't panic. No one panicked. Everyone just did the job. If we panicked, it was at the other end. Um, so, John Joe, fine. Done your job, no mistakes. Well done. Come in and done a job. Six and a half. Uh, ben Godfrey. Um, he was a little bit more. A bit. He made a couple. He should have done better for the goal. He should have gone over there quicker. Um, but he did have energy, and he was picking the ball up, and he was trying to take it up the pitch a little bit more, and in, in, just put a little bit of energy into the game. As I said, he should have done better for the goal. I think he should have got a little bit closer to Mason Mount. He was too close to Godfrey when the ball was played. He should never have been that close. There are times when he thinks like a centre-back, when he's playing wide, and he comes in a little bit too tight. I think He's done it in other games where he's just been a little bit too close to the centre-back. He just needed to be a little bit further away. And he's allowed that space for Mason Mount, and Mason Mount is... Fantastic, fantastic play. And that's four games in a row we scored now. Um, but Godfrey tried to get us up the pitch, though. He, he did try and get the ball and get us up the pitch a little bit of times and use that little bit of pace and energy. So I've gone, Ben Godfrey, I've gone for a seven. Um, even with the goal, I just thought he had that little bit of energy that we needed tonight, especially in that first half when it was a little bit, you know, when they had a little bit of the, a lot of the ball. I mean, he had a lot of the ball, a lot of the game, didn't he? But um, I've given him a seven. Michael Keane uh, quietly went about his business really well tonight. The experienced man at the cent- in the centre back position, captain, um, probably be, you know to be looked at as a leader tonight. And I thought, I thought he did really, and he he done well tonight. Again, it was like the Arsenal game, just went about his business. Make the jobs made a lot easier for him, and it's just like you just got to defend, you've just got to defend. And he defended. And he, <laughs> the one thing I was looking at all night, I think me and Baz touched on this in the, in the match preview, was Everton have got to stop making mistakes, defensive mistakes. We are giving, um, we are giving opportunities to teams by making mistakes three on Sunday. You know, look at the Liverpool game, a couple in the Liverpool game. You know, we're given mistakes, penalty against Brentford. Mistakes all the time, costing us goals. Um, And everyone's been guilty of that. But when you cut those mistakes out, there are some like, you know, Keane certainly is a good player when he cuts out mistakes, individual mistakes. Do your basic job and do it, try, you know, do it well. Um. Yeah, so he, he did it, and he did it. I've given him a seven point five, solid tonight. Um, a good performance. Mason Allgate. He did do. He did make mistakes. Certainly in the first half, getting turned, going through the back of a player and getting booked. He's he cut them out. It's funny when players get booked and they suddenly go, "Oh, I can't do that again." So I can't. That I can't go round jumping in. I think you know the best players play like they're like they've been booked. Um, I always used to remember like watching Gabamon and seeing. Um, I think Gabamon got booked a few times. You always thought better take him off, but he always was brilliant after that. Um, 
And it's sometimes like that thing where it, there's a switch in the red, and you just, and the best players have that switch, I think, already in the red. Don't get booked. Don't play to get booked. Don't put a silly tackle in. Leave that towards the end when you've got you've got one. You've got one in your pocket then, haven't you? Um, and he calmed down after he'd been booked. So, but I thought first half, just rash, rash mistakes. Too many times. You, you, you know, this is a lad who's played a lot of Premier League football and he's still so rash and reactive and jumps in and always tries to think he's better than the attacker. And you're just thinking, you're just thinking, yeah. Did I say goodbye, man? I meant, did I say goodbye, man? I meant guy. I thought I said, did I say goodbye, man? I meant guy. Um, yeah, I've given him a five because just that first half, just, just that first half. Um, did I say goodbye, man? Did I? Sorry, I meant, I meant Garner, guy. Um, yeah, first half. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. What happened to the player who used to be like very calm, collected player on the pitch? The player we thought was going to be our best centre back. What happened to him? Goes round just kicking people and thinking he's better than the people on the pitch. What happened to him? Calm down. That's why you don't play in the team because you go round making mistakes and kicking people and giving stupid fouls away. Calm down. So I'll give him a five. Um, Jared Brantwaite. Um, started a, just a little bit shaky, which is fair enough. Prim, first Premier League game back since last year. Saint, well, first Premier League game since the back end of the season before. Calmed down. Started to win a couple of little t- bits and pieces. Started to win a couple of challenges. Growing in, grow, grew in confidence. It must be great when you're a kid like that and you and you must go into a game and just be like, oh my God, look at these players I'm against, playing against and then going... Oh, I'm I'm as fast as him, or I can beat him in the air, or or whatever. And I think that's what happened tonight. It was like as the game went on, he was like, "I'm, I'm all right, you know. I'm 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 I deserve to be here." And if you've been out the team for a while, maybe you don't feel like you deserve to be there. And as it went on, he definitely went. He definitely, you know, got better. And there was little things like coming out with the ball, and he defended really well. And you know, the goal. Even even after the game, he's saying, yeah, we've been practising that. And I just went over to Anthony Gordon, told him, get it to the back post. It's like, that. he's got this like little bit of inner, inner bit of confidence. And I remember the back end of the season before last, I think it, you know, I think we did a show, me, Baz and uh, Andy, the Piv. And I was saying, you know, I, this, I think this kid could be a regular in our team by the time he gets to like 21. And, you know, maybe maybe getting ahead of myself. I was like, no, there's definitely a player in there. And, you know, you think about, like, the John Terry's of the world, the Tony Adams, they started pretty young. I was like, no, I definitely think there's a player in there. And I'd just love to see him continue around the squad, getting opportunities. I'd rather see him get opportunities than Mason Holgate. And listen, players will only get better if they play. That's the thing about young players. Look at Mason Mount. Mason Mount went to Derby, played... And then went back to Chelsea. They didn't have the players because of what had happened with the uh, transfer embargo. And he played. And look what the player he is now. Look at Dominic Calvin-Lewin. Marcel Brand said, I'm not buying a striker because we've got Dominic Calvin-Lewin and I believe in him. And look at the player now. You know, he most sought after. We're desperate for him to come back. Young players have got to play. When people say there's no... There's no... Um, career path that's what they mean they want to play in the first team and i know that's not always possible but it's because everton have been the way they have in the last few years you can understand look at like someone again look at like Trent alexander arnold he got an opportunity liverpool were between right backs essentially he got an opportunity got in there he's a bit he's a bit rash at first now now he's, now he's amazing you, you need young players need opportunities and i look at brantwaite and i think really like the look of him really like the look of him and hope and that's not just on tonight i just really like him to be around the first team get an opportunity and i'd rather him being there than honestly than the mason all i really would uh eight and a half i've given for tonight um now make it a nine make it a nine make it a nine 
keep them in there. Keep them in there now. Keep them around the squad. Don't send them on loan. Let's have them in the team. Someone said there about sending them to Blackburn was a mistake. I don't think sending them to Blackburn was a mistake. I think he learned some harsh lessons playing at Blackburn about playing to a certain level and what it's like to play for a team and what it's like to get the opposition manager in your face and all that kind of thing. I don't think that did him any harm. But now I'd like to see him play for Everton. They just give him a new contract and I'd like to give him I'd like to see him play more games. Um, that doesn't mean he starts every week. That just means he's an option. Um, let's move on. Andre Gomez. I don't like him in a two. Um, I don't like him. <laughs> there was <laughs> certainly in the first half. There was no no midfield at all. There was like no one sitting in front of the back four. Of course, we had five there, but they just kept on running through. Haven't they got uh, uh, Gomez and go Gomez? Um, does not like to run backwards. Like, I don't know what the stat was, but I know a couple of years ago the stat was like, or last year the stat was, he was the most run past centre midfielder. Um, so, it was a bit difficult for him. He had moments where he was all right and he had the ball, but um, I didn't think he was great. I've given him a five. Um, it was, it's not, that's not his position. Um, he's not really got the legs, certainly running backward uh, that way. So I've given him a five. It wasn't a great for, game for him. Um, Decore, I didn't think Decore played too well. In fact, Decore cost us the goal. He Chelsea had sort of offered us the opportunity to have a couple of chances. And the, the pitch had opened up and obviously he got the ball. and Just like Gordon's down the left. And I can see what he's trying to do. He's like try, trying to slip it between two players. But we'd left ourselves really exposed. And he could have put Gordon in, but he didn't. He t- t- and they were away. And then once they were away, the team was all over the place. And they scored. I'm not putting it all on him, but he just didn't look comfortable in that position um, tonight alongside someone who d- doesn't really def- can't really defend. So I give the core a, a six. Uh, Awobi, Awobi was just terrible. <laughs> like you are a senior player, why are you so? Why are these kids making you look so bad? Why are you so bad? Like why? Like the opportunity he had to put Sims in was it Sims? He had an opportunity to slip Sims in, and he went left and it, he went right. Sorry, I think it ended up going out for a throw, and it was like, oh man, he's so bad. It's like he's not good at anything. Like he's probably a very te- good technical footballer, but he's not a footballer. He's one of those kids we all played football with. He was boss in the playground, but you put him on a pitch and you ask him to play in a position and he didn't have a clue. We all had them in our school. You ask him to do a job, his job is to attack. He doesn't create. He scored he only scores against Watford. He is just doesn't do anything. Was it the cut? It might have been the core. He had the chance to slip it into. It. It's like he's not. Oh, he's so poor. He's such a poor, poor. Like football, he probably technically might be amazing. Might be the best five side player in the world. Might be amazing at head tennis. But as a footballer on a football pitch in a position, he hasn't got a clue. He has not got a clue. I'm giving him a three for managing to wear two socks. So bad. So bad. Um, Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon was boss tonight. He really took the responsibility of being... Like, this is what I'm saying about a Wobie. Gordon's probably just looked at the team and said, oh, I better do something tonight. And he really stepped up. He really... Um, took that responsibility that was put on him of being our second second striker. Let's say he carried the ball well. He won important fouls. You know, he 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 got it, got the ball away from you know into the danger areas, and then you know got set pieces. I think he actually did. He win the set piece for the goal. Great 
delivery for the goal. He he really looked like he enjoyed that responsibility tonight of, like the manager probably said, you know, we need something from you, we need a little bit of drive from you, we need you to win as far as... It reminded me a little bit of, like, Pienaar tonight. There's just... Not like, you know, the tricks and stuff, just... Just being... He was clever, he was clever, savvy. Winning, just being a little bit clever on the ball, winning as the fouls, getting us up the pitch, running into dangerous areas, not just picking the ball up and going, right, going to put my head down and then just lose it. No, he picked the ball up and ran into dangerous areas and then won as fouls or brought other people into the game. Really mature performance and he's starting to get more... Again, he's a, he's another one who's profited from getting more game time. Listen, it... I'm only saying one. It's one. It's one performance, and he's looked all right in other performances. He's still got a hell of a long way to go. He's not necessarily, you know, making enough chances, or he's certainly not scoring chances. So he's got a long way to go. There's a lot of development there. I'm not going to go overboard about him, and no one else should go overboard about him because all that leads to is the Tom Davis syndrome of expecting loads, and when it doesn't come off, thinking, "Well, I'm going to rip you to bits now." Um. This is, and this is the same about any young player. Just let them develop and uh, and see what happens. And I, I thought he was thought he was really good tonight. Um, I've given him eight. Um, that's probably his best performance in an Everton year. Definitely the most mature performance. And you can see that, like little, probably little tactical elements coming from the manager as well, telling them where to go. Because under under um, Ancelotti, Ancelotti would you could I think there was a game we played in the cup. Um, Last year, if I think it was the third round, and the manager, you could hear the manager shouting at him, "Get back, get back, get back!" He wasn't tracking his runners, and he's still he's still not brilliant at tracking his runners, but he does it. He do starting to learn that he ha you have to go both ways. Um, so fair play to him. Thought he was really good tonight, really good, and he's starting to become someone you can like rely on in games at least. You know when you're looking at the, and that's what those are the young players have got to start. I've got to do is be people like you rely on in games, so you can look at the bench and go, oh, they're not just sitting there for no reason. They can actually come on and play. And I think he's, you know, he's definitely that become that now. Um, Sims, obviously his first game in the Premier League, R really tough for him because he didn't see much of the ball at all, but. He kept going. He, he was mobile. He dropped in when he needed to needed to to try and you know win the ball or stop them from just having a, getting the ball straight back. I think he played sixty five minutes. He worked really really hard. I've given him six point five. There wasn't any real creative opportunities for him, so it's it is very you know you can't I can't sit here going well that's it now what a player we've got. He worked really really hard tonight. And his what he did allowed Dobbin to come on and stretch them. That running allowed them to stretch Dobbin to stretch them a little bit more. Maybe because he's got a little bit bit more to his overall game. Um, and he did stretch them probably more than you know maybe a Rondon would. But I don't know because Rondon may be better at holding the ball up and bringing other people into play. So it's impossible to say because because he didn't come on. He wasn't there. But I think, again, it's that thing of the manager might look at it now going, right, well, if you've got five minutes here or there, I'll put him on. So did really, really well. Try, try, tried to bring other people into the game. Didn't always come off. But it was hard for him when you're out of the game for the, the per long periods he was. Um it was a, it was a challenge for him. So six and a half, really good, good, good for a lad to start play your first game away at Chelsea, first opportunity in the Premier League. He's done that now. He's made his Premier League debut. Fantastic, fantastic for him. Um, talk of him going to Blackpool in the next year. We'll have to wait and see on loan for the end of the season. We'll wait and see. Uh, subs, Dobbin. Uh, give him a seven. I thought he really. 
stretch again the word stretch but i think he just offered a little bit more obviously they were tired but just a little bit more to his game as well just 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 moving them around a little bit dropping in and then being a little bit clever using the ball better he isn't naturally a center forward he is um he is a bit more of a wide player more of more of a wide in a three um i honestly thought that was a penalty when i seen it in real time but obviously it wasn't but it was fair play to him fair play to him if it had been given if there had been contact and gone to VA and he'd given you everyone would be like amazing clever 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 i've got no problem with that everyone else does it um i mean there was one on there was literally one at the weekend where leicester got a penalty for something very very similar so no, he, he, he did, and he had an opportunity, got into the box, and I thought, just have a crack. And he just didn't quite get the feet right. He was never really, only ever quite quite knew what he wanted to do. And before he knew it, he'd lost the opportunity. And that's the difference with that level he plays at, the under-23s in the Premier League. It's like, probably in the under-23s, he'd probably get a couple more touches there to do what he wants. In the Premier League, it's just not going to happen. They just take the ball off you. So, again, brilliant. Long, I think that's the longest time he's had on the pitch. Again, the manager can look at that and go, yeah, there's a player there. I can trust that. Um, we can, we can, we can, we can trust that. Um, there you go. I mean, some people might say it was a dive and some people might say entitled to go down. You know, what, you know. There you go. I'm not asked, mate. If you got a pen, if we'd got a penalty there, no one would have gone. Oh, you, what are you diving for? Players are always diving. Who's asked? Uh, yeah, seven did well, did well. And Jean Philippe Cabaman. Yeah, again, first few touches just <laughs> were awful. Um, first few touches were awful. Positionally, got back into it. Was all right, but looks still looks miles away. But still looks miles away from being um, ready for the Premier League. I don't know what they're doing with them in training, but physically, he just looks miles away. He doesn't. Again, I suppose if he was a young player, you'd. Um, yeah, apologies, I smacked the mic. Uh, if he was a young player, you'd give him. You'd go. Oh, I just need time, but. Pay twenty five million for him. Obviously, he's had a couple of injuries, and um, I don't know. Physically, he just looks so far off playing in the Premier League. So I give him five. There you go. Uh, and Yango wasn't on the pitch long enough, but fair play to the kid. Came on, had a couple of touches, but I'm not gonna, you know, rate him for that. He had a couple of good touches, just trying to get the ball away, just trying to get position, because a lot of the time that's all those players were trying to do, get back in position. So. There you go. 1-1 one, one draw. Next game, Boxing Day. All chill out now for Christmas. A good point to Chelsea. And um, we're nearly nearly at the halfway mark. Um, <laughs> for the points tally we want. So, there you go. Uh, make sure to check out my instant match reaction. Check out Baz's videos. They'll be, added, they'll be up very soon. Uh, good performance, great hard work and performance from young players, um, and all and all, all of them, all of them worked hard. Apart from all these rubbish, there you go. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, including the final words, which will be live tomorrow over on Patreon. Join us on Patreon. The link is in the description and it'll be on the screen. See you later.